It is July 2020. Nintendo announces a new format for the Nintendo Direct, the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, where they would showcase content from their third-party developers, nothing first-party, so yeah, it's needless to say that my expectations were pretty low. I decided to stream the event, we went crazy, we were hyped, Nocturne HD Remastered and a new trailer for SMT5 dropped on that particular day. It was amazing. Today I want to speculate and tell you guys why I think Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2 are next in line to get the Nocturne HD Remaster treatment. This is a video where I'll talk and I'll speculate. I have a few reasons about why I think those games would make sense, but it is not a confirmation and it's not even a rumor, it's just reasons why I think it makes sense and that we might see them eventually. If you don't know me, my name is David, I make a lot of Megaton and Atlas content, so if you like what you're seeing, what you're listening to, please consider subscribing to the channel and ring that bell to get notified when there's new videos, and I upload once a week, every Thursday, 12pm. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, it really helps. Now let's jump right into the video with the first reason why I think Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2 are coming to modern systems at some point. The first reason is because DDS 1 and 2 are running on the Nocturne engine and they're reusing the same graphics and the same assets from Nocturne. So that makes them the easiest games to port after the release of Nocturne HD. If we look at other similar titles that they could release, well, the first one that comes to mind is probably SMT4 that was on a 3DS, like I saw pictures and... Um, like articles online and there was like uh, fan art of like a switch case or a ps4 case with uh, it was named like the smt4 collection with smt4 and smt4 apocalypse well you see to bring a 3ds game to modern hardware is a lot of work and it is definitely more work than to reuse the graphics and engine from Nocturne Remaster, so of course Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2 would be way easier. Now what we might think is maybe they want to bring the older games to modern systems. Uh, Majin Tensei, Digital Devil Story, uh, any type of game like this they might want to bring to modern hardware. But you see that would make sense because it's not as much work as SMT4, but the problem that I see here is that those games they didn't age so well, so to make those games interesting to a new audience that is not a Megaton veteran or that hasn't played all the games, I think a remaster is not necessarily enough for those type of people, don't get me wrong, for me that would be amazing, but for those people, I think a complete remake is necessary to make those games sell, and now we're getting into a lot of time, a lot of work territory, and I don't think Atlas is ready for that. Now let's look at the development cycles for uh, back in the day in the PS2 era for Nocturne and the DDS games. So I'll just take out my numbers here and Nocturne was released on the PlayStation 2 in October 2004 in North America. Digital Devil Saga, the first game, was released on the PlayStation 2 as well in April of 2005, so only six months after the release of Nocturne. Amazing, right? This leads me to believe that it was pretty, pretty easy for the team at Atlas to just reuse the Nocturne engine and create a brand new Megaton experience using the same graphics. Oh, and of course, there's Digital Devil Saga 2 that we must not forget. Uh, the game released in October 2005, so only six months after the release of the first game. So basically, a whole year after the release of Nocturne. So in a year, the team at Atlas released Nocturne, a new mainline installment, and Digital Devil Saga, a new spin-off using the same engine, and a sequel to this particular spin-off, all in the same year. It is really impressive. Now, all of that leads me to believe that DDS 1 and 2 would not require a lot of work to put inside the Nocturne HD Remaster engine. I'm not a developer, but it makes sense, and I feel like there's a lot of chances that we might see that, and I think that Atlas could just pack in those two games together and release a remastered duology or a remastered collection for those games and it would sell very well. Which brings me to my next point, the second reason why I think they might consider bringing those two games to modern hardware is that I think Nocturne HD will do really well and I have a lot of reasons for that so let's get right in. The first reason is that people have been asking for older Megaton titles, Nocturne in particular since this is a fan favorite, to be brought to modern hardware because even 
if you play the game back on the PlayStation 2, like what you're seeing right here is footage of DDS on PlayStation 2, uh, it still looks pretty good. So to have the game in HD, no, no type of Final Fantasy VII Remake or something like that, just something simple like they're doing right now with Nocturne would make fans happy. And I think that since there's a lot of people that are asking for this release, it will do well. That's the first reason. Now the second reason is that they're releasing the game both on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is at the end of its life, so it, it has a massive install base, so a lot of people will see this game and might want to pick it up. And the Nintendo Switch is breaking records every single week in the world, especially in Japan. And where do Atlas games sell the most? In Japan. So. Again, there's two places where the game will be released on, two systems, and both systems, for two different reasons, I feel like they will push the numbers for this title. The third reason that I have is that there is a lot of hype right now with Megaton. We see it with physical games on eBay, they're getting extremely expensive, and you'll tell me, yeah, with COVID, every single game is getting expensive. You are correct. But the Megaton titles, it's even worse, and that is also because of the hype surrounding the upcoming release of Shin Megami Tensei 5. People don't necessarily know about Shin Megami Tensei, they want to get into the series, they don't know where to start, the pretty as games are super expensive, even SMT4 is like 80 bucks, it's crazy. So those people are like, yeah, well, what can I play? Should, should I wait until 5? Oh, okay, they're, they're releasing, they're re-releasing in HD one of the games or one of the best games in the series that might be a good place to start. So. In my audience, in my community here on the YouTube channel, there's a bunch of people that have been telling me I've played some of the Persona games or I'm interested in RPGs but I've never played anything Megaton. Is Nocturne a great place to start? I'm interested in Nocturne, stuff like that. So that leads me to believe that the hype surrounding SMT5 will push the sales, will push the numbers for Nocturne. The fourth reason why I think this, this game will sell well is that um, now more than ever with the massive success of the Persona series, there's a lot of people that are interested in jumping right into Megaton. I made a video a while back describing why I think Persona fans should be interested in Shin Megami Tensei depending on what they like about Persona. This video, even though it's not my proudest video, is a video that did extremely well for me. Which again leads me to believe that there is a lot of personal fans that are typing into YouTube search. Why should I get into SMT? What is SMT? Where to start with SMT is another video that I did recently that is doing pretty well right now. There's a lot of people that I feel like they want to get into SMT after playing Persona games. So for all those reasons, I feel like Nocturne HD will sell pretty well. And we all know that Atlas is all about those numbers, of course, those companies want to make money and it's normal, so if this game do well for them and it's not a lot of work, well, it's I'm not crazy to think that they would want to bring some other titles and to do the same work. At first, they'll look which games could do well for the content that the game has, and then they'll look at what's the easiest for us to do, and those games jumps to mind first, which brings me to making this video. Now, the last reason that I have for why I think DDS 1 and 2 should be coming or could be coming at some point is a simple reason those games are amazing. As you can see in the background, I am currently replaying Digital Devil Saga 1. I am 15 hours in, roughly. You can expect a review on the channel shortly. And those games, man, I don't talk about them enough on the channel, honestly. They're extremely good. Their story is ex is is unlike anything else in the series and they're so immersive, like the, the, the environment, the atmosphere, the setting, the characters, everything about those games is good. The gameplay is also just as similar, but just as different and just as unique to other titles for me to like them so much. This duology is really something else. As we can see with the recent years of Atlas, it doesn't seem like they're ready to just create three titles in a year like they did all the way back in 2005 for us, especially if it's Megaton titles. I feel like they want to release more Persona stuff since this is what is selling the most for them right now. It's understandable, so now just give us this duology of games and fans would be happy. Look at the reaction of everyone with for the Nocturne Remastered announcement. Everyone went crazy, so it's amazing. I also think that they could release this package of two games and probably charge full price for it. They're not charging full price for Nocturne, almost. I think it's like 50 bucks, so 
just put two games in one package, reuse the engine for Nocturne, and sell it for $60. I'm sure it will do super well. Put the title on Switch again, put it on PS4 again, maybe even on PC. Look at Persona 4 Gold and it sold well. Maybe put those games on PC as well and let them sell. So yeah guys, this was just a small talk, something that I had in mind for, well, since the announcement of Nocturne Remastered, I really feel like Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2, those games, they make sense to bring to modern hardware. I feel like, I certainly hope that Atlas has the same train of thoughts that I do. <laughs> I, I hope you guys think it. I make, I made sense with my arguments. Let me know down in, co in the comment sections below, guys, which games do you feel like are the most likely to appear on modern hardware after Nocturne? Do you feel like Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2 makes sense? If so, tell me why, and if not, I would definitely like to know why, and we'll talk about it in the comment sections below. For those of you who don't know me, my name is David. As mentioned previously, I create Megaton and Atlas content. I release a video every single week, Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing and liking the video, and we'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.